What's up YouTube? It's your boy Cobra back again for Cobra Clothing. I'm out here. I got a new uh new little machine I said I was gonna bring y'all a video on. Here it is. Hard at work already. Burning in nice little grid if you can see there. So I can get my little placement right for you know uh doing the Nicky Norton white towel method on uh, let me see these things right here well first off let me let you know what that thing is anyway that is the Ortor 15 watt laser from Ortor or I don't know how to say it all the way but Ortor <coughs> so it comes with this you can download this uh, cool little reference guide here you know that's what it looks like uh, you know, you can engrave and cut on certain materials. You know, it's got the little burn uh, cut ranges uh, for your laser power and speed. That's the reason I got these glasses on. Look back there, it's pretty bright light. I'm not trying to get a migraine or lose an eye. But, you know, this one comes with references. Uh, 1.6 millimeter plywood, 3 millimeter plywood. You can cut and engrave on those. Might take a little bit, but... You can do it. There's some videos out uh, that I've watched myself uh, that they uh, took a few times to get it cut right, the right speed, right burn. So, you know, check those out. Uh, or, you know, if you'd like, you can leave a comment down in the comment section and maybe I'll go ahead and do one, you know, and just to see how we can cut through some plywood uh cardboard craft paper i did the craft paper thing it's a little racy but uh, i can't show that one on here because uh that was for someone they asked me to do that but you know uh some uh you can engrave on dark acrylic you can cut cutting cotton cloth uh i had a shirt around here i did totally burnt the shirt up but i was just trying it out for a buddy of mine uh, over there at the Golden Needle out there in New Jersey, you know, shout out to them. You know, uh, you got leather. Got some leather right here, matter of fact. Oh, a little leather round. Check that out. Look at that detail in that, man. That is it's awesome. Did that uh, nice little burn on that, I think. I don't know how thick that is, but it's pretty thick. But I didn't cut it. So I just engraved on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, what else we got back here? Got a little bit of plywood. They did a line design right there. You know, got to work the name, even though I didn't flip it all away or whatever. Then, you know, you got your fill. That's actually with a font called Cheap Fire. Some pretty thin plywood there. This is one of the sample pieces that comes with the uh, Ortor laser when you get it. I have not worked on the dark acrylic. It's a little piece that comes with it. Wasn't really uh, in my thing to do, you know. But this is what I was trying to get at. Boom. This is, I don't know if you can see that all the way. Is that backlight? Yeah, look at that. That is an image that cannot, you can't scratch that off of there. That's burned into there. And, uh,. It's not coming out. This is actually a bathroom tile, as you can see, uh, using the Nicky Norton method uh, white tile printing. Also, big ups to my guy that made the big gimping plug-in on GIMP. That's a really cool plug-in. It's a paid plug-in. Uh, I don't have links in the description right now, but I can get those links to you if you'd like. Uh, just leave me a comment or you know something down in the bottom in the comments letting me know that either you like the video want to know more about the things that i'm doing here uh want to know more about the laser know more about the rolling bn20 things of that nature you know uh what else we got in here that we burned on uh little test pieces um you burn on all kind of tiles man like burnt on the back of that one trying to get it to burn through it I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can probably see the squares a little bit. See the little U. Yeah, I'm trying to work on that. And get these little uh, glass tiles that you can use in bathrooms and things like that. 
throw a little backlight behind them great gifts great um holiday gifts you know you can put family pictures on which i've done a couple of them with family pictures on them but i'm i don't have their permission to show you that i'm not sure if they want to be out in the world like that but uh you know hopefully i'll, I'll do one of myself you know old scraggly picture of old cobra with, with inside out bear you know did that over there on the pn or the pe 800 uh what else we got here man you know you can you can engrave or cut into a number of things you know um and there's a there's a great facebook group out there uh or tour face official facebook group you check them out they got the or tour symbol on there and now that this is done over here we'll take a look at it so that's the or tour right there there's a the little grid it's got numbers and things that come with it this thing has a 400 millimeter by 430 millimeter engraving area uh comes with the little diode laser which you can see here a uh, little red laser not too bad only took maybe i'd say 30 minutes to put it together properly because once you get it together those little belts you might think not or you might think the belts aren't tight enough but yet you, you can tighten them up a little bit more bring a little slack out of them so that the machine can run a little bit smoother but it comes with this frame here I'll show you i'll show you from the top because with that square frame right there that's your uh y axis frame and then you got your x axis frame which the diode laser runs on comes with your little hookup cords here 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 power cable usb cord and it all runs off of if you can see right here oh well i guess you can't see my laptop too much too bright right there but we're using the software light burn i'm still in my free trial right now uh it's a inexpensive um, laser laser controller basically uh, it comes with gerbil which is really good as well it just doesn't have a lot of the functionality that light burn does this light burn also does a lot of vector art and you know i say a lot of vector art but it does a little bit of vector art work on it um and you can you can manipulate a couple more items in it than you can with Gerbil. But if you'd like me to do a comparison of the two, or if you'd like to do or see me do more cutting, engraving, and things like that on the machine, leave me a comment down below. Like, share, subscribe, and I get at you. See you later.